Nation is opening up against, uh, you know, embattled rapper Sean D.D. Now, a lady who's uh, going anonymous, however, the name we apparently have gathered is Jane Doe. Now, she says a molestation apparently happened when she was 17 years involving rapper Sean D.D., not just him alone, other, uh, you know, personalities who seem to be working with uh, Sean D.D., but sexually molested her and, of course, left her to be wobbled wherever uh, she apparently was left. Now, guys, this is looking very serious because she has also felt a trigger warning and also just when we thought this was going to escalate into helping people come out, looks like Didi is also responding, saying that enough is enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into details of this interesting fact about Didi. And I feel it's just time Didi just has to be put behind bars. Like, that's not the first time allegations have popped up. This ain't the second time an alle uh, you know, allegation also has popped up. This isn't the third time. This is the fourth time. God knows how many women are out there wanting to come out to speak about this matter. Like, what is wrong with Didi? Like, why have you not been able to track him? To I, just, I just want to understand. Like, I'm just cringing with this conversation about molestation. And this lady says that she was 17 years old when this thing happened. And these people ganged to molest her. This is so insensitive. This is just so insensitive. Diddy, you have, ch you have kids, you have children, and I'm sure you have a female child like that. If these things you do to people are, I mean, it's, it's referred back to your own kids, how would you feel? How would you feel? But before we go into the conversation, this, I think we can just put you uh, on the screens to see uh, some of the trigger one or the writ that's, uh, you know, have popped up now. As you can see, it says United States uh, District Court. Uh, so the uh, the address and everything over there. Now the trigger warning. Uh, also, this uh, document contains highly uh, graphic informations of sexual, uh, you know, nature. But you can see we're putting visuals on your screen to Didi and this lady. Unfortunately, we have to blur her face because she's going anonymous. We don't know her. We don't want to know her. But of course, she is bringing out evidence and claims. I uh, you know uh, that Didi did this, this to her, and of course, is backing it with photographs. And so the visuals you see on the screens are some things that, of course, prove that, yes, Didi and this lady met when she was indeed 16 years ago in, uh, you know, his own studio. Like, this happened inside his own studio. It is not as though she's fabricating anything. Well, thanks to Cassie for making women speak. Like, you know, I'm super grateful for Cassie. Like, come out to speak, okay? Come out to speak. Don't mind, uh, you know, all the, uh, the nonsense comments that people have. So she, she says that a uh, preliminary statement uh, going, so on, on, no on November 16th, uh, 2023, Okay so, okay, so basically, this was Cassandra Ventura, others uh, Cassie, but let me, let me go on. It says, on November 16, uh, 2023, Cassandra Ventura, aka Cassie, uh, filed a 35-page lawsuit in which she exposed Sean Combs uh, for subjecting him uh, to nearly a decade of physical, sexual, and emotional abuse punctuated by, uh, you know, okay, I can say that word, um, sex trafficking, and of course, and uh, being forced to engage in drug fueled, um the conceptual, uh, sexual encounters with other men. Ordinarily, when a lawsuit such, uh, such as Miss Ventura is filed, that involves events that took place long ago, witness are few and far between the evidence hard to uh, master. Not so for uh, the claims uh, brought against Mr. Combs. With minutes of filing silence, fact of Miss Ventura's claims were Guys, forgive me, I'm just blowing up like that. I know by um, various witnesses, including a viral musician uh, whose car Mr. Combs blew up, as well as various individuals who observed Mr. Combs, uh, you know, go physical at Miss Ventura. Now, on the evening in question, Miss Doe was with friends in a lounge when she apparently approached, when she apparently was approached uh, by who she later learned was Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry was with his own friend, including the third as, uh, you know, assailant. Mr. Perry, the third assailant, and their friends were dressed in suit. Mr. Perry repeatedly uh, complimented Ms. Doe's appearance, saying that she was hot, among other things. Now, the then, uh, he then began talking about his self-described best friend and brother, Mr. Combs. Specifically, Mr. Perry continually stated that Mr. Combs would love to meet Miss Doe. 
Mr. Perry even called Mr. Combs and put Miss Doe on the line. Mr. Combs told Miss Doe that they would love to meet her and that she should uh, uh, you know, accompany Mr. Perry to New York City in a private jet. Shortly thereafter, Mr. Perry directed Mr. Doe to go with him into the bathroom at the lounge. Once inside the bathroom, Mr. Perry began to smoke crack uh, cocaine from the appearance. My goodness, like this is just so crazy. Like this is super, super horrendously crazy. Why? I mean, why, Didi? And now he has the gas to say enough is enough. He's, he's, he's been accused, I mean, wrongfully accused. Well, you may, you may be right. You may be right, Didi. Maybe, who knows? Indeed, you, you, you may be uh, the saint in this conversation and the accuser, uh, you know, uh, you know I, I don't know, but... Uh, well, in the recent uh, you know, tweet, he says enough is enough. And so, well, let's just say enough is enough. But let's also get you that video where uh, his demeanor seemed very as though he's lost everything. And of course, I just wish that people would just boycott him. Like, let's just boycott Didi for good because we, 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 we've also had enough of him. Just as his telling us that enough is enough. <laughs> well, let's get you that video and see how his demeanor also was. But you're putting comments as King or right. By the way, I'm covering this Diddy thing very closely. Make sure to hit that follow button. So Diddy actually, y'all, the tea on Diddy is hot today and he is getting pissed. This marks the fourth lawsuit brought against him for SA trafficking or great. By the way, I'm covering this Diddy thing very closely. Make sure to hit that follow button. So Diddy actually put out a statement in all caps, and I will read it slash show it to y'all in a minute, but let's talk about this suit first and then a few other things. According to the plaintiff in this case, she is going by Jane Doe because at the time that this happened to her, she was only 17 years old. She says that after seeing Cassie and the other women come out against Diddy, it gave her the courage to do the same. Now, according to the complaint, it is alleged that Diddy preyed on a vulnerable high school teenager as part of a trafficking scheme that involved plying her with drugs, alcohol, and transporting her to New York City, where basically she was gang, that word, by three different individuals, including Diddy, uh, at his studio. Now, apparently the filing also includes a photograph, not of the actual acts themselves, but of this girl while she was 17 years old in Diddy's lap. Now here you can just pause to read what Diddy had to say. So the timing of this fire is really but I'm also not saying that he wasn't. Many, many years ago, while Kamora was pregnant, Diddy threatened to hit her. It was very public and very well known. And Diddy literally got down on his knees in public to apologize for that threat. However, after Cassie filed her lawsuit against Diddy, uh, Kamora took to Instagram to make a post. And then shortly thereafter, her house catches fire. Again, I'm not saying that Diddy did it or he didn't do it, but in the past, Diddy has threatened to blow up things before. For example, Kid Cudi's car when he found out that Kid Cudi and Cassie were having a relationship. He threatened it to Kid Cudi's face and literally Kid Cudi's car then blew up in his driveway. Now here's the thing, no matter what you might think about all this, one thing is certain is that not one of Diddy's friends has come forward in his defense. Not one of his exes, none of his staff, none of his artists, not one has come to his defense. And speaking of defense, according to Francie Hakes, who literally spent her entire life fighting for victims of these types of crimes is arguing that people like P. Diddy and these others will never be able to get a fair trial, especially with accusations that stretch back several years, basically because of who they are. But regardless of how this plays out, you kind of got to agree with 50 Cent here, who says that he has FU money, which he does. Diddy's a billionaire. So after all this is said and done, he'll probably still be just fine. But as I said, make sure to follow me because you can bet your ass that I will be following this until Diddy finally gets charged for this. So with Diddy being accused in a new lawsuit, a fourth lawsuit that he...